Okay, carnage report. Sucker just dropped straight out of the sky. No idea how that happened. But she's all tore up. <clears throat> um was flying FPV but wasn't too far away. Pretty remote area. But it did, I was hoping it would land in those bushes, but it landed in the street. But it looked like it landed right side up, so... Oh, snap. Some lipo damage here. <sighs> yeah. Well, could probably still use it. We'll see if it charges. Yeah, not really. But landed right side up. So I didn't damage too much of the 3D printed stuff, which is a little more expensive. But I nylon spacers here are kind of my uh failure point for the electronic system if it's going to break away. Um which it did. Booms broken all over the place. Luckily, it did not land on the electronics package up top, which I'm grateful for because I would have lost my camera, receiver, GPS, video transmitter. All that stuff is very exposed. But I don't know what could have caused it just to flip right out of the sky like that and I'm sort of just getting the hang of looking at telemetry logs. I did not have this wirelessly connected <clears throat> at the time so I'll have to pull up the T logs on the APM unit and see what went wrong. But it looks like for the most part all of my electronics are intact. Um, just dinged up the props and I'll have to remount the electronics package on top and replace the booms but all in all I mean $35 battery but not too bad considering it dropped out of the sky from oh sitting right about the level of that lamp post there just took a dive just flipped over sideways and started diving to the ground. <laughs> and... Well, obviously nothing's shorted out here. Because it's not getting hot at all. Well, that blows. Probably save the connectors and dispose of the rest. It's not heating up. Maybe I'll drive a nail through it and do another video. Alright. That is the most serious serious carnage that I've had so far on this quadrotor, but um, not the most expensive.